Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Trust you are good. I am very, very, very happy to be here again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you to all our subscribed viewers and all our visiting viewers. Thank you too. And you are welcome to the family. So, let's drive to today's discussion. I'll be discussing with you guys on the power of the mind. Power of the mind. Now, let me ask you, as I always do, there must always be a question, Shibi, you know. Okay. How powerful is your mind? Uh, okay. How do you manage your mind? How do you train your mind? Do you just absorb anything, allow anything to reside in your heart, or you guard it, you guard it with jealousy. Okay, so think about that. As you go on in this video, and I know you shall surely be blessed. The mind is a powerful tool that a human possess. It can be used to help you attain success in life, or take you to the deeper to the jet of failure. That is your mind. You own it. It is yours. So you can manipulate it in helping you attain success or it can take you to the depth of failure because everything that makes you, everything that makes you who you are, everything that makes what you are starts, begins from your mind and your brain processes it. No wonder. They said that, no wonder there is words of affirmation. What you are friend into your life every day, I put to you eventually. Because you assimilate it, you accept it in your mind, and you start behaving it, then you start doing what you proclaim or what you have affirmed into your life. Because your mind accepted it. The size of your mind is the amount of things it can absorb. What I mean is this. You have a bucket or a bowl, and you go to the stream to fish water. Know that if you go with a 5-liter bowl or 10-liter bowl, you are going to get a 10-liter or 5 liters of water. You cannot get more than that because that is the capacity that it can take at that time. That is what happens to our mind too. The volume of your mind, the size of your mind, anything that comes to it, it will not overflow. It will not overflow it. It is that size that you contain, just that size of your mind. Everything that flows in is just that size of your mind. So if you have a very small size, if your, if your mind has a very small volume or capacity to accept, it is that little thing he wants, he needs to accept is what until you, you get matured, you enlarge your mind. And how can you enlarge your mind? You enlarge your mind by thinking big, by imagining big, by envisioning seeing yourself in a big way. You see a small child to tell you, I want to become this, I want to become a doctor, I want to become an engineer, I want to become a teacher, I want to become a nurse. Because they are thinking big. That is what they see. They've seen themselves, they've envisioned themselves in that profession already doing that thing and if you ask them why do you want to become an outside you want to i want to help people because that is what they want to do that is because they are their children but their thinking faculty is being enlarged so what they really want to become when they are a child is what they really become that becomes their profession because they are working towards it that's where do so the size of your mind, that is what they're going to get. If our child, they won't give you a food of an adult. No, because you, your, your belly can't even take that. Cannot, 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 even, cannot even take half of it. Because that is the size, that's the volume you need at that time. So until you enlarge your mind, you won't get more than what your mind can take. That is the bottom line. 
So mind, your mind is a very important thing being in you that need to be worked on. If your mind do not absorb or accept what your mind, what your mouth says, it cannot work. That means that your mind and your mouth have to connect together to be in the right tune with one another. <laughs> like this. Have you ever happened to you or caught you that you were praying about something? You were praying this and this and this and your mind is going against what you're saying. Technically, it cannot mat materialize. Because if you're not in tune with your mouth, if you are not in tune with your mind, it will not enter into subconscious mind. It will not, it will not enter into your sub, uh, subconscious mind, not talk of materializing. Because as it's coming to your mind, as you are thinking it, as you're saying it, your, your mind is sending it to your brain to imagine it. That this is how it will be. That is how it will be. And before you know it, it is. It's, it's registered. You might not even remember. You don't know that little, little, little time you are thinking about it. It's been registering, writing it down. That, okay, it's going this way. Lord, go, this is how it's going to be. This is how it's going. And after it's finished writing everything, it's time to materialize it because it is a process. It will be working accordingly. That means that what anybody tells you or says to you doesn't matter. And it matters. Because if somebody tells you that you cannot amount to anything and you absorb it, it enters into that corner. It stays there. Another negative thing comes in. It stays there. They now join together. And before you know it, the form, they become oh, a whole thing. And the negativity began. And because when you want to take a step on a positive thing, they will stand up and tell you that. Mm -mm. Remember that you cannot. And once that, once it's been said to you that, remember that. And your mind, do not say, no, that is not for me. Forget it. The battle has been won. That is to tell you again that everything begins. Your success and your failure begins from your mind. Before you, apparently, before you do anything, your mind tells you it's going to be good. Or it tells you you can't do this. So the one you choose out of it, that makes you or my you. And that is the reason you really need to manage, guide jealously your mind. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you feel it with positive thoughts, your life begins to, your life starts to change. Yeah. Your life starts to change. That is to say, what you're feeling and nourish this what is going to grow. For example, if you want to plant an onion, once you plant the onion on the right soil, you begin to, or anything you want to plant, once you plant it at the, on a right soil and you start watering it, it begins to grow and you'll be happy seeing it grow. Anything you plant and you water, and it doesn't grow, or, it's, it, 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 or it, uh, it doesn't grow, or it dies, that means it's not on the right soil. That means that soil is not perfect for it. So our mind is a soil that we are planting those your thoughts into. They are entering to that subconscious mind, and you are nourishing it. The what you are nourishing there is, you are going back to it, you are watching it, you are saying the good things to it, you are walking towards it. I am not saying it's just like, oh, sorry. I'm not saying that it's just like, are you, you have said that, oh, I'm going to accomplish this. Like a student, oh, I want to go for my master's, I want to go for my doctorate degree. And, uh, and all you do is you don't, you don't make research, you don't do anything. Just like, um, I will do, I will do, I will do. You have said it, it just has been registered. But if you don't take a step on it, you don't register, you don't apply, you think you have reached and not talk of getting an admission or do your thing. It should just be there. You just be reminding yourself, I want to be, I want to, I want to. And that I want to be there. You won't even say, I have. 
or I am will not be there. So when you are taking steps, you are applying everything you need to apply. You, you're working hard towards it. Those are the time you are nourishing it. Those are the time you are watering it. And before you know it, it's growing. And when the harvest time comes, boom, bountiful. Harvest for you. That everybody you now be like, wow, this is great. And those that want to envy, cannot envy them. Your mind needs to be guided jealously, with wisdom, with patience, with understanding. Then, how can this be done? Number one, the Holy Book says we should always renew our mind. Renewer of mind. Always renew your mind with his word, with words of affirmation. Look into the mirror. See what you want to be. See who you want to become. You might not be there right now. You might not even near it at all. But you've started the journey already. Then see the hand even from the beginning. You are a child of your father. The Holy Bible says he has known the end right from the beginning. So you too, see the end right from the beginning. See who you are. See that accomplishment. See that living right. See that change in you. See that CEO. See that influencer. See that better and best person that you want to be. And before you know it, you are being transformed, you are transforming into it. The light is illuminating you, and you are being you are being reflecting what you are saying. Be with the right people. Hey, <laughs> be with the right click. Be, be with the right carcass. If you are not at the right place, the right thing will not happen to you. If you are at the wrong place, the wrong thing will happen to you. That's just it. When you are sitting with the like mind, with your like mind. You're sitting with people that think ahead, that think higher, that think big, that talks about millions, about billions. Not seeing yourself like, ah, eh, I've, not, I've not been there, or I don't even have thousands. Yeah, you might not have the thousands today. But when you train your mind enough to see big, definitely, you will get there. Then, when you are seeing what well, you have a very high and big imagination, and you are with the people of um, Maopi thinking, people that think very little, that they just allow anything that can say, anything that just say, come I am not, I'm not greedy. This is not being greedy. If this is your life. This is yourself. And you're always on the breast for yourself in a good way. So when you're the people, when you're talking about, we can do this, yes, I can see with you, like, it's not possible. Stop saying it. Ah, it's a lie. You're just hyping yourself. It's not, see, you're not in the right place. Because before you know it, you will be saying that it's not possible. Before you say, you know, that, ah, it's true. It's true. You will be, the, the reason that is not there, you will be seeing that reason. And your your mind, the what's your vision will be fading away and you'll be it will be replaced with another thing. So be in the right place, be among the right people, be amidst the people that will help your vision, that will help your mind, in fact, that will increase it for you to even think bigger than you used to. Be there. Read. Knowledge is power. Be curious to know more. Yeah. When well, you're curious to room, you see a book, you, die, you read, you have learned something. And it will definitely hate your own picture. So that the picture you are painting, maybe there is no one color that is not there. And you have read. Oh, it will help you, aid you in applying another color to it so that it can be brighter. That is how it is. What has been going on in your mind? Or your mind has become a dumping ground. That anything is just there. Don't forget that as they are dumping it and dumping it, it's solidifying 
to become a whole thing that's going to obstruct your vision, that is going to obstruct your thinking, that is going to obstruct a whole you. It's going to destabilize you. So, guard your mind and train your mind because that is your possession. So guys, I hope you have learned and unlearned in this discussion. So, let's continue working and building ourselves to becoming the best version of ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button so that anytime a video is uploaded, you'll be notified. Like, comment in the comment section box, and feel free to share because somebody you know will already do this. I love you and you matter so much. So, next video. Bye.